So, unless you had vested rooting interests between Serbia and Switzerland, this was a fun game to watch. Um, yeah, I wasn't entirely neutral. I think I was a little bit more for Serbia, although I thought Switzerland was the stronger team to begin with. And yeah, so it proved uh, in the end. Switzerland winning 2-1, come from behind victory against a really exciting Serbian team, at least in the first half. It was a tale of two halves. First half um, was clear advantage to Serbia. Uh, they probably could have made two goals. Um, Switzerland had one chance, but I think the Serbia controlled the game. And Switzerland played kind of slow and sluggish. And in the second half, they put tempo on. And yeah, got an equalizer. Um, was a great shot. Although I still wonder, I mean, the Serbian defender is falling and the ball is just above him. A split second later and it's not a goal and it was really cool how the uh, the ball you saw it rolling spinning he was hit by Shaka it goes straight in the net and keeps spinning and gets it wrapped in the net it was a really nice shot um, then I really thought that yeah the game will end in a draw and Switzerland was the better team uh, Shakiri had another big chance that yeah should have could have made it uh two one already um and it was also interesting to see that all the changes that the um, uh, serbian coach um Kristajic made were offensive ones he wanted to win this game right there and then and i understand why if you win it, you already qualify for the next round and you don't have to worry about Brazil. Now, you've lost it. And you have a final against Brazil and that's not something you want to have. So I totally understand it. I think even a draw, um, while it might have favored Serbia, it still would not have been um, the safe uh, choice. And so credit for daring unfortunately didn't go right. Um, I also got to say, I think it was a penalty on Mitrovic, but again, I was slightly more in Serbia's camp. Um, I, yeah. Uh, I don't want to go too much in, in, into the reasons for that, but um, well, maybe not as, it was more like this and not like that way for my favoritism to it, Serbia. But yeah. Um, I thought it was a penalty when Mitrovic was held by two uh, Swiss defenders on the other side. Um, yeah. Switzerland played much better and was actually quite in control over the second half. And I was already fearing, yeah, they're going to make a winner. Even if Serbia now risks, they're going to make a winner. And I actually really like the positive intention of let, let, let's go for it. And fortunately, yeah. It did not end well. They were ca um, caught on a counter and Shakiri converted and then it was uh, could have been a third one for Switzerland too. I mean it was no clear chance but I uh, was more leaning towards Switzerland than Serbia from that point on. Um, one thing I need to mention is the um, gesture that both Shaka and Shakiri made. This gesture after scoring their respective goals. This is the Albanian double eagle that uh, is on the Albanian flag. Both Shaka and Shakiri are of, Pos of Kosovo origin, uh, which is Albania and Kosovo is part of Serbia and kind of, yeah, they got their in in independence, but there's no good blood between Serbia and Kosovo. The two players were um, hacked towards the game by the Serbians, and this was kind of in revenge. I don't like political gestures of that kind. Uh, I thought it was kind of cheap. I mean, you already made the goal. You don't need to rile up the audience. Yes, their audience was mainly Serbian, 
uh, and I can feel that there was a lot of hatred and I knew from the beginning that's the reason why that game will actually be uh, more heated than you would expect because there is this um, Serbian-Albanian um, undertone to it. And it's funny because when Switzerland plays Albania, those same players, Berami, uh, Shaka and Shakiri are also being hackled because they chose to play for Switzerland. Uh, they couldn't have played for Albania, they could play now for Kosovo, but of course Switzerland is a lot more successful these days and they've played so many uh, games for Switzerland already. Um, Switzerland looks, I knew that they are this, probably the second strongest team and I think they could do some real damage. Assuming that whoever plays Switzerland in the second round, beat Mexico, beat Germany, beat Sweden, I think they will have a hard time. This will be a tough uh, task and um, Switzerland, a little bit like Mexico, is always second round hurdle, not as blatant as Mexico, but Switzerland is waiting for a quarterfinal and they're right on the cusp of it, I think. That team could go somewhere. Uh, I'm sorry for Serbia, I think they really showed a positive tournament, but they can eliminate Brazil, uh, believe it or not. So it's, it's an exciting group. This was, I didn't expect it to be as tight and I think the way Brazil played so far it's not clear cut and always remember in the 21 final in 2015 Serbia beat Brazil 2-1 in overtime so it's possible if you want to be Serbia now Jersey matchup uh, classically European matchup but those uniforms totally messed with me the Serbian uniforms look like Swiss uniforms to me and the white uniforms are always uh, for the first few minutes I really had trouble uh, whenever Ser uh, Ser Serbia attacked to not think that this is Switzerland. Um, I don't know. Put some blue shorts. Serbia used to have the Serbian flag. Put some blue shorts. Put some blue maybe here. Do something to make it a little bit more Serbian. I know Serbia played a lot now in all red, but do a little bit more with uh, this jersey. The jersey is just a stock jersey. It looks very Swiss, very inoffensive. Even then as the crest. Yes, it's not a Swiss cross, but there is a white cross. Um, yeah, the Swiss jersey is the better looking of the two of them. It is boring as hell, but very Swiss in that regard. Um, but in match it looks like a soccer jersey. The other one with all the dots and the rash here on top. Although I really like the idea with having the mountain topography there. Uh, it didn't look as great in game as uh, this white jersey, which is a clean jersey. So there's nothing really wrong with that. And yes, Switzerland can do a little bit more with the Swiss flag. Don't have it just sitting here. Um, I really loved the previous away kit of Switzerland. That was the perfect away kit for Swiss. For, for us, the Swiss. They should keep something like that all the time. Well, let me know what you thought about it all. I think this was really one of the better games. It was very intense and it's all, only one of six European matchups that, that we get and most of them are still ahead of us. Um, we have Denmark, France still coming, we have Iceland, Croatia still coming, we have on Saturday Sweden against Germany and then we have England, Belgium and the first all European matchup, Portugal, Spain, was already a, a cracker and this one was too. Uh, if European teams show up and play each other that's usually a good game so hopefully more to come well let me know in the comments below what you thought what were your thoughts about that game in general and yeah i got a nap if the world cup is getting to me and i really hope i can sleep in tomorrow a little bit and recover because i'm getting very 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 tired i have to get up early every morning so all right, I'll talk to you soon. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.